So this is a gouger update. Uh, I wanted to uh, just get in touch with people who've uh, purchased the machine and just inform them of a couple of changes that I've made. But first, I want to talk about the machine and the gouge, and I'm not sure that I made this clear, but this machine is essentially a copy of this machine. The guide on this, right here, this guide, and this guide on this older graph machine are identical. Those guides are identical. And the blades are very close. This, this blade, as you can see, since it's 10 millimeters wide, it looks like it comes to a, a real point, but in fact, the part that does the gouging is just very small right in here. And that curve is about 4.5, and this curve is also about 4.5, 4.6. So there's real similarities between the two. Um, I basically, in this machine, I copied this machine. This is the machine that I copied to get this. The beds are almost the same. I mean, you can see that these machines are similar, the width, the width of the guide and so on. The only difference really is this height adjustment. I don't use that. I use a different height adjustment which has a knob. It's locked right now. But I think that it's real important to be able to change the height without having to go through all of this. So that's why I like this better. This alignment is far better than this one. This, this threads are very big so it's not very accurate but these threads are much finer this is more accurate the other thing is in this graph machine these edges are very sharp and gouging actually it physically hurts when you use this machine if gouging a lot of cane it can be painful to hold this and you know I can remember getting my fingers to bleed trying to gouge a lot of cane with this thing so this one is much easier to use and it's much lighter. It's less resistant. This is somewhat resistant. And this is like air. Just incredibly light. Okay. Um, so that just just so you know that I didn't just pull this out of a hat. I actually had something to go by. To those who are used to these kinds of machines, this is not going to be foreign. This will be very similar. Now, for those who have already purchased the machine, I have an update that I wanted to talk about. The prototype of the machine has a height adjustment, this right here. And you can see it's very different than this one. This is what I got from the manufacturer as a sample, and so I based my drawings on it. It locks, and the size, you can see that it fits perfectly right in the circle area. So, I designed it to be like this with a magnetic bearing. This bearing is very uh, lubricious, moves very easily, very solid feel, and uh, easy to adjust, and uh, locks, and you know, it fits the machine perfectly. But that's not what I got when I sent the drawings to the manufacturer. What I got was this, which is not like the drawings at all. It's very different. And as you can see, this is not centered here. It's a little offset, which is not a big deal. I can work with that. The problem some people have been having has been with this bearing. Some of the bearings move and some do not. It's not magnetically attached. So this has been an issue. Um, and I've had some workarounds. One particular that I really like was to put a cap, a nylon cap, on it. Nylon is used in place of steel for bearings and gears. It's abrasive resistant. It has a high lubricity and it also resists wear. So it's an excellent product for this type of application and uh, with brass or uh, a stainless steel guide rod it it's very it moves very smoothly uh, on the uh, guide rod and makes this um, easy to use very smooth and works uh, excellently 
some people do not really care for the cap uh, as uh, I'm not sure why but um, I think it works fine so I've come up with a different solution so what I've done is I've taken the bearing I've removed the bearing and I put in a nylon insert instead this nylon insert is similar to the cap but it's permanently placed at the end of the adjustment screw. That's what I have on this machine now. And it works excellently, as you can see. Nylon is very lubricious. It moves very well. It's also very sturdy. I put 40 pounds of pressure on this and it doesn't budge. This has been an excellent solution for the gouger. And the added benefit is that there's no lubrication required because, because of the nylon you don't need any oil so there's no oil required for this machine at all uh, it's got the self-oiled bearings here and with the nylon tip it works beautifully I really like the way the nylon works it's much smoother than a bearing and it's much quieter as you can tell makes the machine really function really well so to those who purchased the machine I've already sent these out Last week I sent them, and you should be getting them soon. You just um, remove the bearing, unscrew the bearing all the way, and then um, screw this screw this one in, and uh, you should be good to go. You don't. There's no need to remove the the component. You can just do it right in the gouger. So I hope uh, this clears some things up. You will not have an issue once this is installed your machine will function perfectly.